Hello, fun. My name is Nick, and I'm here at the Midwest Regional in Chicago with Team 1986, Team Titanium. They're already off to an incredible season, having been finalists at the Heartland Regional. They have an incredible arm that does it all. This and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Now we're going over to Aiden to talk about their intake indexer and arm. So starting with our intake, uh, I would like to point out we have a polybelt style intake. Uh, this was inspired by Wild Stings Robot last year. We kind of made use of their intake and we fell in love with these belts. Uh, here, after we intake a note, in taking a note, you can see the note gets pulled up into our shooter through our indexer. This indexer gives us a few capabilities, like being able to eject the note in case something goes wrong. And that just makes sure that if anything gets clogged up or say we start intaking a second note, we are able to put that out. So in taking it again, it then comes into our shooter where we are able to shoot up into the speaker or also our arm is variable angle. So we are able to rotate that and shoot at higher distances. And additionally, the amp works for this. So this is our amp position and then we can shoot it down and out. Just like that. Yeah, very um, cool. So that is our intake and shooting mechanism and also our arm. Yeah, very cool. Now we're heading over to Chris to talk about their shooter, trap ability, and climber. Yeah, so to start off with our climbers, we have a boat hook uh, climber. It is a cum fiber rod uh, that is encased in a spool. And we have a uh, snake-like gear pattern that is run by motor uh, Neo. If you can run these up, so that runs the boat keys together. Uh, and can extend them up to our climb position and go down uh, once we are on the chain. Uh, whenever we are going to climb, we have to extend first, uh, our, rotate our arms so that we can uh, not push our IGIS chain or IGIS, uh, and allows us to go into our trap position. Uh, at the start of the match, we actually have uh, a trap mechanism that is held down to our shooter. Uh, and whenever we start the match, these will actually fly open uh, whenever our belt on our motor uh, is ran. Just like that, uh, so that we can start the frame perimeter. Uh, and then whenever we try to trap, we can rotate our arm upward. And then now we can go to our climb position. And then now down and then to our trap position. It's all very cool. One thing I'm curious about is how did you come up with the idea to like spool that sheet to be your climber itself? I've obviously seen winches used for climbing before. I don't think I've ever seen a climber that is itself the winch. Yes. So uh, we had the idea from past robotic or team titanium. We had a tape measure uh, like climber and we decided to kind of up that to become a cum fiber spool itself. Uh, so like I said, this is basically just a uh, really strong tape measure uh, that allows it to pull itself down on the chain. Yeah, that's very cool. Uh, now we're heading over to Oliver to talk about their software systems that tie all of this together. So yeah, so one thing that we have been looking for this year is to automate as much as possible and to relieve the load off of Chris and Aiden for what they need to do. So all of our indexing is automated. And then another cool feature that we have we have note detection on this camera up here uh, using Google Coral. 
so Aiden can just press and hold a button, and then that will auto align the robot to the note, drive towards it, and take it, and then it's in here ready for him to shoot or whatever he wants to do with it. Um, another neat feature that we have, um, we have LEDs down here that will uh, flash red for a little bit when we get a note, and then something else with that, uh, when Chris revs up the shooter, they'll flash blue, and then once the re once the shooter's revved up, they'll flash white for Aiden to know that you're good to shoot. Well, this is all incredibly cool. I wish you the best of luck going forward. You've had a great season so far, and I hope that continues. Thank you so much for your time. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.